What is up, America? Neil here with Jogger Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today I've got a super exciting video about a piece of gear I'm very excited to share with you guys. That is going to be from Core Essentials. That is their micro battle belt. So let's get after it. Before we dive into the actual battle belt setup, I just want to say a little thing about the tactical belts that Core currently offers as well. There's two new colors that are really neat. We have the, uh, the uh, multicam kind of the traditional multicam and then we have the what I'm wearing right now probably doesn't show up right now on camera too well but that is the uh, dark multicam okay so you're gonna have both of those as options along with black and then of course they have leather options for a dressier setup whatever you like for those that aren't been haven't been indoctrinated yet into the core family here's the deal it has a track line so there are no holes you have a huge range of adjustability. You can release or tighten it all in one. Most importantly, there is a power core in here, as they call it. It's supposed to be stronger than steel. It is very, very tough. You cannot bend these in half, so it makes an outstanding platform for mounting whatever type of gear that you guys have, and obviously very easy to adjust. So they have plenty of other tactical belts to check out. But we're going to talk about the battle belt. And what is the battle belt? Who's it for? Why do you want it? And why is Coors so dang cool? Well, let's look at that. So the way the battle belt works, for those that don't know, it's a two-belt system, meaning you're going to have an inner belt. Much like in law enforcement, we have a duty belt. And back in the day, before the, we were high-speed, low-drag stuff out there called Velcro. And by the way, for you guys out there, Velcro works by hook and loop so if you're ever looking to have an attachment or buy some other type of belt uh, the prickly part that's the hook and the soft part that's the loop so that's what makes up velcro boys and girls and so now we have a nice velcro setup on belts prior to that we used keepers and core actually provides a keeper with your battle belt setup which can be very useful as well uh, what this does is it takes the outer belt that you would put on top of here and then this would hook the two together but now we have high speed velcro so now we have an inner belt this is core's inner belt which we're going to talk about and then you have your outer belt we're going to show you how this all goes together don't get too concerned about the gear that's the beauty of these types of belts these types of battle belts and this is a it is a, a molly setup okay two rows I'm going to explain how that works here in just a minute for those that don't know. But I'm going to show you some attachments that you can put on here. The attachments, by the way, are absolutely endless. And the adjustability on the new belt is super awesome. In a moment, I'm going to show you why the core battle belt has a really big advantage over traditional battle belts that you've seen before. But first, I'm also going to show you something that I see as sort of a, of a, of a con, okay? Sort of a, a knock to it. Nothing's going to be perfect. Again, this is my opinion, my experience for me in law enforcement. And again, I understand that there's going to be a wide variety of users. By the way, who's going to use a battle belt? Uh, well, I would use it as a duty belt for sure, especially for SWAT applications or applications that might be a little non-traditional non as you will, rather than maybe basket weave on the streets, depending on your uniform code. Um, home defense, having a, a setup like this near your bed that you can you can click on and you got all the gear you need pretty good idea obviously training uh, private security who knows but anybody that wants to put a lot of gear on very quickly and very conveniently that's who a battle belt is for that said two belt systems as I said earlier the the inner belt that core provides is this guy and it uh, is made in a very unique way which we'll discuss in a minute that allows it to have its major advantage of having quite a bit of on the fly adjustability. That said, as you guys can probably see, this is not a very sturdy belt. Again, not its intended purpose. This is simply designed to weave through your uh, your pants, whatever you're going to wear through your belt loops. This is a one and a half. Okay, the actual battle belt will be one and three quarters, one point seven five. This will hold your pants up, and that's about it. Okay, so what's what's the dig with that? Well, I on my way to work. Before I put my uniform and stuff on, I like to have a little paddle like this. This is by Safari Land, okay? And I have a inner belt that's a little sturdier, okay? 
it's not, I'm not gonna put a bunch of gear on it, but it does allow me to be able to put a little paddle holster on, okay? And then I can take my holster and hook it up. I wouldn't do that with this belt because I don't believe it really has enough sturdiness to it. Again, not its intended purpose. Is that really gonna affect the vast majority of people who are gonna buy it? Absolutely not. So who cares? Just wanna point that out. First things first, don't be a dude. I'm a dude, I got lots of core belts. Please don't do that. They put this code on here for a reason. Now, by the way, hopefully they fixed it. I had to use three different QR codes to get this to work. I don't know, I let Core know. Uh, nonetheless, if you put in battle belt setup or core, core essentials, micro battle belt, uh, they have a really nice video. They did a really good job of explaining everything, which is why I'm not gonna go through everything in super detail on how to set this up. But please don't be a dude. Don't just assume you know what you're doing. Cut this thing and screw it up. Core has a great 30 day money back guarantee for uncut belts, meaning once you cut that, you're done. By the way, what does that mean? You're gonna physically take your belt and you're gonna cut it, okay? Core provides you guys with a very nice tape measure, which is upside down, okay? And the way this works out, I'm not gonna put the belt down here because it'd be a big mess, but essentially you set this down, it even shows you where the track line is, you match that up, you're gonna use the webbing side out, so I guess I lied, I guess I will show you. So we're gonna undo the belt, okay? Here's the track side. This would go down on the table without obviously your stuff on it. And then you would take your tape and you'd measure it up. Now what Core says in their video is to do whatever your uh, uh, pant size is. So if you're 36 and 36 and so forth. Listen to me, please don't do that. Give yourself an extra inch or two, okay? That way if you make a mistake or you mismeasured, or something didn't work right, you can always make it smaller. Once you cut it too short, you're done. Same thing with the inner belt. This inner belt is gonna be cut by you. Again, watch the video, they'll explain it all, put a little tab on there, and you're good to go. All right, so let's talk about once we fit this. Watch the video and you'll know how to fit this. <clears throat> how does this deal work? So, let's look at that. This is the inner belt. It has this hexagon material, which is designed to go in the front of your, of, of your buckle, okay? And the way this system works, if you want to decrease the diameter of your waist size, you want to tighten the belt up, this is designed to, to decrease or expand, okay? That's how the magic of the inner belt works. So we'll do this. Here's the weird part about putting on this Core Essentials Micro Battle Belt. Normal belts, I hold the buckle on the left, the other side on the right, put them on, right? They even put the tab down here, which would make sense. That's not how the battle belt goes. It goes the opposite direction. So I don't know what the magic science is. I didn't ask Core, but I'm gonna do what they told me to do, according to the instructions. So we're gonna run this belt on like we normally would throughout belt loops, and here's the other advantage. A lot of uh, thicker, heavier belts won't run through all the loops depending on what type of pants you're wearing. So this guy is one and a half, and will easily run through our belt loops. All right, so now we have this deal, which can contract, right, because of that meshing. So make sure that mesh is in the front. Pretty straightforward and simple. Then we're gonna have our battle belt set up, the outer belt, again. This has two rows of molly and the special buckle on it, which is super cool, all right? So basically all we need to do, which is a Velcro, I kind of line up where my, the front buckle here and the, on my gig line where I want it to be. I set everything up and we click it on. You can hear that nice click sound, nice and positive. We can set our belt up however we want. Okay, so now I got that set up exactly the way I want it. I can tighten it up a little bit. I can come down here and I can loosen it as well. If I want it a little tighter, a little looser, there's a lever down here that I showed you, as you can see there, okay? Um, and we have all our gear. It's beautiful. Look, everything fits the way I want it. You can set your stuff up ever, however you want. We'll make another video about education-wise, about what we put on here, why we put it on here, and all that good stuff. But for now, 
this is this is super cool. It's set up the way I want. Now, if we look at a traditional setup, okay, a traditional type of battle belt, okay, this is not a battle belt, but the, you'll understand the point here. We've got a, a buckle here. This one happens to be like cobra type buckle, and so they lock in real nice. That's great, but I can't adjust this, okay, without taking this off, changing the length on each on whatever side I want to do it on. And then rebuckle it. So if I want to make just a small adjustment, I gotta take this off every time, undo this, tighten it back up, or loosen it. With the core belt, I don't have to worry about that. There's a release lever. I can make it looser. I can suck it up and make it tighter. Easy peasy. Well, why would I want to do that? So a lot of you guys will say, well, I don't really need to mess with my belt that much. Well, here's the advantage to this. Let's say I'm gonna be sitting in a vehicle for a while. Uh, maybe I'm gonna sit down for lunch. Right, where I sit down, I can loosen this a little bit. I mean, I could take it off, but there's gonna be scenarios, again, job specific. I've been in an armored vehicle for hours on end, very uncomfortable. And uh, it would have been nice to be able to loosen the, the duty belt that I had on at the time, right? So, kind of a nice advantage. And then, of course, removing everything super easy, release it. You can see here, uh, as long as it's stuck on that Velcro, even with all my gear on here, with my gun and everything, it's not falling down. So it allows me to get everything on there pretty easily. It's really on there. So a close-up of this, let me take the gun off here, it's a little lighter. So you can see everything. Core does sell, just so you guys know, the outer belt independently, the inner belt independently, and the buckles, meaning that if you wanted to replace one, you want to get different colors, there's uh, FDE, black, and uh, OD that they sell right now. So if you want to get different colors or different application, multiple belts, you, multiple inner belts, multiple buckles, all of that is available through their website. So check that out, Core Essentials. Here I'm going to give you a close-up of the buckle itself. Again, very nice. You can see inside over here, this is what the track line looks like. Again, this belt goes all the way up to 48 inches. A couple things to note. This buckle is very heavy duty. It's made out of a zinc alloy that is powder coated. Um, I've had... <laughs> I don't even know how, uh, Core has been with us, the Jaga Farms Academy, longer than any other equipment supplier out there. And they have done nothing but innovate since we've been with them. So let's look at this buckle on the inside, okay? Once you cut your belt to the length that you want, again, cut it many times if you have to, because you can always make it smaller. You're gonna apply this buckle. It's real simple, watch the video, you stick this on, Tighten these two screws and put this clamp on there with the teeth. Back in the day, Core didn't have the screws on there, just the teeth, and I never had an issue. So now, you're definitely not gonna have an issue. It, that is not coming off of there. Here's the uh, mechanism that releases the buckle for you. And as you can see, this is the hook, the prickly part. That is the hook part of the Velcro. I'll show you where there's some open space here. This is the Molly. Again, there are two rows of Molly. Core says that this uh, Molly can hold up to 500 pounds, which is pretty incredible. There are two types of ways to attach gear to this belt. One, we can use a, a basic clip, okay? This is by Safariland. There's a million manufacturers, Blade Tech, uh, Blackhawk, whatever, whatever your flavor is. But this is a single clip. Uh, you want to make sure that whatever clip you're using has a spacer if you need so, a need to. That will be 1.75, so your stuff doesn't move around. Pretty straightforward. That will be placed wherever you want. In this case, this is for a holster. It'll lock on, and that's not going anywhere. The second way to attach something to a Molly style belt like this is to run your Molly, okay, which is basic or PALS. This is your strap that runs in weaves in these two uh, webbing areas here, one on the top and one on the bottom, okay? Depending on the kit, it's the piece of kit that you're putting on here, uh, like magazines, for example, we want those pretty sturdy and not move around as much. This is a tourniquet uh, med kit. Uh, some shears in here and a quick tourniquet that I put with a med pack. This is where I can reach it with my right hand. Again, I don't want to turn this into a video of, of that kind of thing. I want you to understand, you can weave this in. Pro tip, this is very tight. To try to take this, by the way, take your stuff out of the bag or pouch or whatever you're gonna put on there. 
when you go to weave this in, it's gonna be very, very tight. So if you guys watch, when I go and bend this way inward, look at, the, look at how it creates that gap there, okay? And that will allow you to be able to weave through the belt underneath your molly uh, strap here. Okay, you can go through the, uh, the bottom piece, back through, and then you snap the final piece. Or you can just go straight through here, weave through the bottom, put it on there. If it moves a little bit, not a big deal, depending on what piece of kit you're putting on there, okay? Everybody's got their deal. But that's what Molly system is, designed to weave things in and out, makes it very secure, and you can move it wherever you want. Once it's on there, it's not going anywhere, okay? So you guys can set your stuff up however you desire. Uh, Core also sends this um, keeper in here. So basically this will go on the belt and that'll keep it nice and tight. So the end piece or whatever, if you have a little extra left over, you can do so. Please heed my warning. Make it bigger so you can cut it down. You cannot make it bigger once it's too small. Okay, please. Bottom line, guys, if you want a, a belt that holds all your gear exactly where you want it, something that you can put on very, very quickly, very conveniently, adjust it right on the fly to the exact way you want it to fit, look no further. Okay, there's a lot of battle belts on the market, but this is the only one I know of right now that has this real convenient setup. I can custom cut this belt to exactly the way I want it. If you're one of those people that may have a few extra pounds to lose and you're planning to lose some weight, this belt would also be ideal because you'll be able to cut it down once you get to a size. Instead of having to buy another belt, just shrink it down, put your, buckle, put your buckle back where it goes, and you're good to go. Speaking of the buckle, you break it, uh, you wear it out, you just want another one, you can do that. So, super cool. Again, Micro Battle Belt from Core Essentials. Two thumbs up, I would definitely check it out. You guys know where to find us, here on YouTube, also Facebook, Instagram. We're also on Rumble, so check us out over there. We put all our A content, our premium stuff, on Patreon. If you're watching this video, there's another one that you'll never see here on YouTube, only for patrons, so you can enjoy that. By the way, if you are a subscriber, we thank you very much. If you're not, please consider subscribing to us. If you are a subscriber, I've gotten some messages. Make sure that you check that bell on all, because some of our videos aren't getting out to our subscribers. Thank you, YouTube. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by a 12 than carried by 6.